The trial of alleged underworld boss Nafiz Murak has been delayed due to legal representation. The Legal Aid Board says there are no resources to represent Murak and three of his co-accused. So far, some of the accused have pleaded not guilty to charges of fraud, corruption, contravening the provision of Organized Crime Act and some of murders they are being charged with. Judge Robert Henney has ordered that come the 15th of February, he wants all the accused represented. Aisha Ismail is tracking that case and brings us this update. Of the 15 accused, 10 have lawyers, one chose to defend himself, while Nafiz Modak, Zain Kilian and two others are waiting for legal aid to appoint lawyers for them. Modak initially wanted legal aid to give him a lawyer of his choice, but that is not allowed. The manager of the Legal Aid Board informed the court that while Modak's application for legal aid is still being discussed at a national level, there are just no lawyers available to defend them. The judge says a plan must be made, even if it means bringing in lawyers from outside of the province. George, Neisner area, um, Russell Bay, a few competent legal representatives from that area that can be appointed, uh, or if necessary from outside this province if you exhaust it. It's still within the mandate, I would imagine. And the appointment of legal representatives, oh, Mr. Modak, Mr. Killian, Number two, the Safak Mid Kelly and the Q's number eight, Mr. Chalk from here, must be finalized by legal and by no later than Thursday, the 15th of February. I want to see lawyers in front of me by that day. Not guilty, Modak. Last week, Modak and Killian pleaded not guilty to killing anti gang detective Charles Kinnear. I never killed Colonel Kinnear, the police killed him, and I have evidence to prove this in the trial, my lord. But Judge Henney did not allow Modak and Killian to give plea explanations until such time as they have lawyers representing them. The trial continues on the 19th of February. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.